Well, we just hit 15,000 subscribers and I really hope you're one of those 15,000. It's been a year since we started this channel and I can't tell you how happy I am with, with 15,000 of, of you guys joining us on the channel. Um, if you're not subscribed, then please help us to get up to that big magic 20, which is what we're going for next. And this week, let's just have a look at the new texture feature. It's only a short video this week, but it's a very big feature. So let's dive right in and have a look at texturing with the new feature in Nomad Sculpt. So this update, which is, if you go to the top right and look there, is Nomad 1.55, gives us the ability to do a different type of texturing. So this is a model we've used over the last few weeks. So if I just go and do add layer, so I'm basically painting over the top of all of this um, and we'll just scroll around. So we're on paint and we'll go, let's just have a look at the top here. And because we're on paint, we'll just check what mode we're in. So if we come up to the top here and we look at stroke type, we've got a normal fall off and we're on dot, so that means that as I draw, let's do something silly. Um, let's just do a some like a green. As I draw on the surface, you can see we're just adding paint, um, and that's also uh, as I've already said, it's on a layer, so we can blend that layer over the top of the other layers. So that's the basic painting. If I wanted to uh, adjust that a little bit up until this version, I could go and pick an alpha brush, so a black and white image, and I could say something like, uh, like one of, let me find something that I can really clearly see. So something like these lines, and I'll just draw with them, and you can see that, that the shape of the alpha is now my uh, brush, and I've just changed it to white so you can see over the top. So that was another useful way of doing it when you want to add you know, stuff to the surface. Um, but now it's got a little bit more complex or a little bit more advanced. So what we could do before we go to that is we could change two things. So we could change the fall off and that would give us different uh, looks on the surface. And we could also change this stroke type to grab radius, which as you probably remember would allow you to pull uh, pieces of, of imagery you know from the alpha onto the surface so we've gone one stage further now with this so I'm just undo that so it's two finger tap on the screen so say I wanted to do skin I could use an actual image so if I go I'm still in the paintbrush mode and if I come up to the top um, I'll keep the alpha in fact I'll go all the way up to the edge so it's a full hard edged fall off and then we'll keep the uh, stroke type to grab radius, but we'll look in the next one, which is painting. And at the bottom of painting, you get a texture tab. So if I hit that, I get the option to add things in. Now I've added a few in, there's only three at the top. Um, you, you get these with the, with, with Nomad. So um, you get the Nomad logo and you get the Nomad logo with an alpha background. So that basically, if I show you, you can drag that on the surface. Um, why would it look funny? Because we've left an alpha on. So that's showing that you're using it, using it in combination with an alpha. So if we just put a square white alpha, that means it's going to give us everything all the way through. And I'll do that again. And you can see there that the logo is coming onto the surface um, with that with, with the alpha being um, completely a uh, white background. Um, and, and that basically means it gives us everything. So if I do one, one more thing, I'll pin this open actually so it stays open while we're working on it. Like that. Go back to the full logo and we've got the alpha with a full white square. So basically you can see you're bringing on the full image now. It's got a slightly rounded edge. It's blurred off at the edges and that's to do with the fact that the image is slightly blurred. And also the alpha has probably got a little bit of blurring on the edge as well. Um, so you've got a lot of combinations there. Let me just two finger tap them away. So you can paint on the surface as you always could do, but you can now use um, that, that combination of the alpha, a texture map and the fall off to get a really cool result. So let's have a look at what we can do. So let's take a skin. So this is just an image of some skin. 
and I'll change the alpha to something like, um, let me find something that's a, here we go. So this is like a skin as well. So this is like an elephant skin. So there's just one watch out here. So as you can see, we've got the, the um, image of our skin. We've got the alpha correct, which is a skin alpha. And we're going to draw on the surface. Now, let me just change this color to something again that you can really see. So this is bright red now. And now you can see it's not giving me the texture. It's still giving me red. And that's because if you want the texture to show, you have to change your color to full white. And now it reverts to the texture. I'll prove that by going here back to the Nomad. So that's giving me the alpha and the texture because I've set the color to white. So just remember that you need to make sure that that's set to white or you won't be getting any, any result on the surface. So let's just do that skin again now. And we'll use, so we're using the skin texture, the skin alpha, and we've got it fully set to white. And let's see what happens now. And there you go. So you can see that that, that gives you that imagery. And let's just prove it with something else. So let's go to this um, weird green water thing. And that's giving you that image. And I, I notice I'm moving it around as well on the surface. So that allows me to, you know, adjust, adjust the position. I'll turn symmetry off for a moment so I can just draw one big image. And that's, again, that's a combination of the alpha and that texture image. So let's try it one more time with something else. So let's try, this is actually an iris from our previous lesson. That's going to draw that onto the surface. And let's turn that alpha off for a moment. And you can see there it draws it perfectly on the surface. So there's plenty to play with here um, that, that, that's going to give you, uh, you know, some crazy options um, for, for your texturing. It's, you know, we're not at substance level, obviously. We're, you know, we're, it's very early days for, for this level of texturing in Noma. Um, but we are at a point now where we can get some really, really cool stuff with, you know, just simply simple textures that you've downloaded. Or if you want graphics, um, uh, you know, let's just put a house plant on the back of his head, turn symmetry off again. Um, and there's, you know, there's a house plant on the back of his head. So you can literally, you know, put anything you can download as a texture. So let me give you one more example. We'll just open photos and we'll just bring this pattern in. And say we want this, so that's just a full pan. Now the edge, as you as you will know, is hard because we haven't got a, a you know the, the image is just a square, and our alpha is is just a square as well. So again, back to what we tried. Let's just put something like this uh, dotty pattern from our T Rex pack. Uh, bring the lights around. So that's three fingers rolling around the surface. And there you can you can put the dots with the alpha again. So you you can really go crazy with this. Um, I'll just cover over all of those silly eyeballs that I just did. I'll just literally do the whole thing over like that. And then don't forget add a new layer, and you can just keep adding your um, you know you can make your combos of the texture with the color um, with the alpha. So it's just learning you know, which of the methods do you need for your particular project? And knowing that it's there is half the battle because you can just go and use that as, as as you need it once, you know, once you know it's there. So well worth investing the time to have a look at texturing now. I've only covered the surface. I've only given you a quick indication that that feature is there now. So go and have a look at that and show me what you can do with it um, on our forums, on our groups, on Facebook. Um, and have a great week and thank you for being one of our subscribers if you're not one of our subscribers then you know please give this video a thumbs up as it does help me get in front of other people who, who might like this kind of content hit the notification bell and we can let you know when we upload new content which is every week as you probably know and stay with us for the summer when we start looking at more VR software lots more creative software other than Nomad. Obviously, we've done a lot of videos on Nomad now because it's our favorite mobile sculpting app. And we're going to start branching out into those wider um, software titles.
Why don't you take a look to the right then? I'm showing you the video of the latest uh, other new features like radial symmetry, which is a crazy new way to do some of your um, texturing features in a, in a radial ring around um, your model.